Hi sign friends, welcome to my sign room. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a heart. One heart block that I used in this table mat that I'm not quite finished with right now. I'm working on hand quilting around the hearts. So this isn't quite finished yet, but this gives you an idea of what you can do with your heart quilt block. To make one heart, you're going to need four different red fabrics. They're cut one and a half inches wide. And our final measurement would be four and a half inches long. But if you're making a few, then use long strips, sew them together like we're going to do today, and then trim to four and a half inches. You'll need four one inch squares for the background fabric. And you'll need two two and a half inch squares of the background fabric for your block. After you make your block, you can add borders. And today I thought I would show you how we can turn this one block into a coaster with these background fabrics right here. I cut these uh, one and a quarter. All right, let's go to the sewing machine and sew this together. First, I'm gonna take two reds Let's decide which reds go together. I think I'll do these two and these two together. And if you are making more, have long red strips, sew the long strips together. And then trim later. I'm sewing a quarter inch seam. After you sew them together, you might want to walk over to your pressing station and press them. Here they are. Now I'm going to trim these two, like I said, four and a half inches. All right, now we have these two pieces and we're going to add big squares to the bottom and the small squares to the top. We're going to be sewing a diagonal line. If you can imagine the left side of the heart and the right side of the heart, we're gonna be drawing right from this corner to this corner. And if you're not comfortable eyeballing it, you can draw yourself a line with pencil. So that's the right side of the heart, and here is the left side of the heart. Now I'm gonna take my one inch squares and add them to the corners of these pieces. Now we're going to be sewing a diagonal line this way and a diagonal line this way. Again, if you're not comfortable eyeballing this, draw yourself some lines. Our block, heart block, when I'm done with pressing and trimming, should be four and a half inches square. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to do some trimming. I'm going to trim this off the right side. 
I'm gonna trim this off. And I'm going to trim the corners off. You might wanna walk over to your pressing station and press this open. Today, I'm just going to put them together. As you can see, this is the center. Put the right sides together. And sew down the middle of that heart. Right here, I made this seam go that way and this seam go that way so that when you open it up, it's not so bulky down here. That is your heart. Now I'm gonna press it open and we're gonna add borders so we can make a coaster. And before you add your borders, you might wanna make sure that your block is four and a half inches. Mine has a little excess over here, so I'm going to put my ruler here and trim this little bit off. Now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and add some borders. Since this is not a quilt, I'm not worrying about what size this turns out to be. These won't have to match any anything. It's just going to be a coaster, so we are not going to worry about seam allowance and all that good stuff. Let's just add some borders. And one more, and then we'll show you how to make a coaster. All right, here we have our finished coaster, and I want to add batting to my coaster, so I cut a square that was just a little bit under the six inch size that we have here. I also cut a piece of backing fabric six inches, the same size as my coaster. Yours may or may not turn out to be exactly this size. I did this so that we don't have all this bulk inside this seam that we're going to sew. And to keep this piece of batting in place, I'm going to quickly add some big stitches, basting stitches right in the middle that I will pull out later. They're real easy to pull out. Just made a little X in the middle to keep that in place. Now I'm going to go back, remember to fix my stitch length, and I'm going to put right sides together, the right side of the coaster and the backing. Line them up, and now I'm going to sew around, leaving an opening so that I can turn it right side out. At the beginning and end, I might do a little back stitch so that it doesn't pull out when I'm turning it. And I'm going to go along the edge here. And if you catch a little bit of the batting in your stitch, that's fine. We just don't want a whole lot of batting in our seam there. And here I am at the other the beginning again, and I'm going to just do a little stitch back stitch to hold that. I'm going to trim the corners. And now we're going to turn this right side out. I 
I like to use a bamboo skewer, the blunt end of the skewer, to do the corners. As you can see, we're going to need to take a needle and thread and close this up. Or we can take our machine, which we will do today, and just go around the edge and that will close that opening up. Before I do that, I'll show you how easy it is to pull these stitches out. I'll just make a couple of snips here and here and see if this comes out. That one came out pretty easy. So as you can see, those stitches come right out and my batting is in place. It didn't get folded over or scrunched up inside when I was turning it right side out. All right, fold these edges in. Start there with your machine and just go around the edge the whole way around. Or like I said, you can hand stitch that opening closed and you won't need to do this part. You can do more quilting on the inside. You can also take a needle and thread with some embroidery floss and stitch around that heart like I've been doing with this one right here. You can see the big stitches. So that makes it kind of special. Thank you for joining me today in my sewing room.